Good morning. Johnny Sunshine here. Johnny Sunshine. The sun came up again today, guys. It's another day. <coughs> so I just got off the phone with uh, Moffitt. They gave me my schedule to get my beak fixed. Uh, I gotta be up there at 6.45 in the morning to have the guy who's gonna slice the turkey uh, take, do what he's gonna do. And uh, then the next day I go to Moffitt. One of them is at FSU. Uh, the Moe's doctor, and then uh, leave it's FSU. Right. I don't know, it's right there across the street from Moffitt. But, anyways, then the next day, uh, I go to the other doctor, and and um, he puts me back together. So, sort of be interesting right before Christmas. I told the lady, I said, oh, good, I can I can uh, go out as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. She said, don't worry. She said, by, by the new year, you'll be all fixed up. And I was like, well, that's being optimistic. Uh, and I appreciate that. I'm, I'm just hoping that it, you know, when they get in there, that it's nothing major. Uh... I am showing the signs of my age, you know, my, I got brown spots all over my face, which I hope don't turn into cancer. My, my, my mom and my family members, brothers and sisters have had, had issues with skin cancer, nothing, not melanoma, but they've had to have lots of surgeries. Uh, so this is just, uh, maybe the tip of the iceberg but I need to do everything I can to limit this shit uh, by using sunscreen like moisturizer staying out of this fucking Florida sun man it's deadly down here man cooking you like a fucking rotisserie chicken every goddamn day yeah Betty, what's up, man? Oh, flea bag. Them fleas are moving around on her. Betty, what's the man? What I do for my girl, Bella, is when I see her trying to scratch a spot that's really tough for her to get to, you know. I scratch it for him, man. I get in there and I chase him fucking fleas away. Yeah, I help you out. I care about you, Belly. See, this is the shit that I gotta stop doing. Touching my damn face, man. So I gave Bella and Gussie their flea medicine. Gussie, the fleas don't even want to be on him. They're like, this fucking dirt ball, we're not getting on it. We don't like him. They like Bella. She keeps herself nice and clean, manicured, keeps her hair did. Uh, Gussie, he's just a fucking hot mess. He's like, where's a pile of fucking mud for me to lay in? Anyways, so guys, I think today is December 1st, man. 12-1. Johnny Boy's going under the knife. Eat. I did, I, I gotta tell you, man, when I had my bone marrow trans, not, not the, uh, every time I had to go in for a bone marrow biopsy, I just have to say, man, if you've ever been put under with propofol, that was the shit that Michael Jackson, you know, was doing every night to put himself out, but that shit is fucking wonderful man you know you 
They say stop counting backwards. You get to like two or three in your fucking history, man. You're just gone. And the guy told me, the guy who's going to reconstruct my nose, he said, you know, we're going to put you under. And I was like, oh, goody. That's worth the price of admission right there. Send me off into La La Land to wake up and we're like, oh, we fucking, uh, we got the records confused, though. We had another Phillips, and we're sorry, but we cut your foot off. What? You didn't notice the big fucking hole in my nose? Guys, I gotta go to work today. I haven't worked in a whole ten fucking days. I'm just exhausted. That last job, it just beat the fuck out of me, man. My doctor, Kubal, he told me, he said, listen, man, he said, in reality, you're like a 69-year-old man. And no wonder why I can't recover from fucking jobs like that. I'm too fucking old to be crawling around in my gut, you know, trying to chisel a fucking piece of Schedule 40 out of a goddamn hub, man. Especially when the fucking dipshit turns the washing machine on twice and fucking douses me. Cooling off my shit. So I've been in a state of uh, just exhaustion, doctor's appointments. Guys, I want to show you I got my shit yesterday. Watch out, Bella. So, so I got these things here, guys. Look. My comfort crosses. I got a hundred of them. And what I do is I carry one with me, or a couple. I usually have some in my car. This time they came with these beautiful little, like, burlap bags, man. And a prayer card. That I don't have with me but these are these are comfort crosses man and it never fails that in my travels every day I run across somebody who needs to be uplifted man they're struggling I don't know how that works out but look at how beautiful these things are when the fuck's the goddamn camera in this thing look at this I have no idea where the camera is. The beautiful olive wood. They're just amazing, man. I carry a couple of them with me. They're everywhere. They're in my truck. They're everywhere, man. I need all the help I can get in this life, man. So what I'm what I'm getting at is if I I know I have a lot of subscribers I sent a guy a couple yesterday who, who requested them but I gotta tell you man I want to give them to everybody but I can't afford it guys it costs about 10 bucks to send these to somebody you know not not that's just mail it I think it was like six seven dollars just to mail it so what I'm getting at is if you want one of these or a couple of them, I'd be happy to give them to you. But just just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and you will get a... doesn't even matter what religion you are, man. This is just a symbol of my faith and my God and... Even if you're not of my religion, I would love to give you one of these as a, a, uh, a sign of good, um, I don't know what you call it, just that I, I hope that my God is looking out for you too, that's all I can say, and I think it's a good thing, it's, uh, anyway, so I've got a whole bag of these things. 
Very nice, man. Look at this. Hundred of them. Every single one of them is different, unique. And I always tell the people when I hand them one, I tell them when this thing was when this thing was made, it had your name on it. It was destined to be in your hand. So, if anybody wants one, give me a call if you're going through some stuff or you just need something to uplift you. Like, like I said, I carry them all the time. My mom had one in her hand when she passed away, holding it tightly in a fist. Uh, and I have that cross. I cherish it. Uh, I don't know why I'm so s somber today. My friend, a, a girl that I grew up with, when we were very, very, very young, uh, I think I was only eight, her brother died from an aneurysm. And she posted it on Facebook yesterday that it happened 49 years ago, man. I guess I was 10. Uh, but man, we I didn't have much experience with people dying at 10. Maybe my grandfather died when I was nine, uh, but it just shocked everybody, all of us kids, you know, and uh, I've been thinking a lot about it, man, her post yesterday about how it affected her life, but uh, so my my plumbing channel is, is about much more than just plumbing, which I'm going to go do a job today. I got to go help this old guy out. He's a really, really good customer. Uh, his name's Nate. He's about 90 years old. Just an amazing person. He, he rides his bike every day, like 30 miles, guys. Imagine that. The bike path goes right by his house. And uh, he's a fighter, man. And his wife is just a beautiful person. And she was having some issues with cancer and she was getting treated at Moffitt. And uh, unfortunately, when I talked to him yesterday, he said a lot has changed since the last time I saw you. And uh, he started to tell me about his, what happened. His wife had fallen. Um, she was in pretty bad shape. And then dementia set in and this is all you know, I mean, I saw the guy a year ago, a year and a half ago, and they were just vibrant people. But, you know, your life can take a turn very, very fast. Uh, maybe that's a good thing, you know, instead of suffering. But anyways, his wife is to the point where he, he tried at his age, you know, to take care of her. And he just can't, couldn't do it, man. It was too demanding. He even had nurses coming by twice a day. They were there from early in the morning until 10 o'clock at night. And that in itself is, you know, it'll drain anybody, a young person, never mind an older person. So, unfortunately for her, this vibrant woman is doesn't know her family. Dementia has set in. He said dementia, not Alzheimer's. Uh, but I'm really, it's been a sad day, man. I feel for them, man. And I gave her my crosses. I try to pass them out all the time, man. Gotta have faith, guys. Gotta have faith. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Probably get a 10 views. I really don't care. Fucking Google's still jerking me around. A check is coming soon! <laughs> yeah! Thank fucking God you don't depend on that money. Like a paycheck. This fucking boy, they slow roll this shit. Six months later. Oh, there's one more thing you need to check now. Check this and then they... 
you got to dig through fucking piles of files and programs to find what the fuck they're talking about. Very vague, designed to uh, just have you fucking running in circles. They do it on purpose. There's no doubt that they could make it simple. A very simple fucking one-page fucking questionnaire uh, instead of this drib-drab of fucking... The checks and the mail. I've been doing this shit for almost... In August, it'll be three fucking years, guys. Haven't gotten a fucking dime out of these pricks, man. It's a fucking joke. Either I'm totally fucking incompetent, which it very well could be, or they really do just make it fucking hard, man. It's not easy. Not easy being me, man. I enjoy myself. Anyways, uh, you guys have a great day, man. I'm going to go help this guy. He said his grandson tried to fix his shower valve. The handle broke. He needs a cartridge. It's a posi temp. Unfortunately, I think it's a Valletta, uh, which is a, a line of faucets that Moen has. It's got a different handle. It's a, it's a nicer crystal handle. I'm not going to be able to do all that for him. Uh, he can call Moen, maybe get one under warranty, have him send it to him. But uh, I'm just going to put a Chateau crystal handle on there or a, a Chateau lever handle, chrome, uh, if he wants. A new cartridge and get my guy running again. And if you can, let's pray for Nate, man. Let's pray for Nate. Cause he's struggling a little bit but he's just cool as shit i love the guy man i'm gonna bring him a t-shirt i'm gonna bring him a fucking t-shirt of mine that he can wear when he's riding his bike anyways you guys have a great day uh johnny sunshine checking out for today we'll see you tomorrow it's friday Whoa.